Hi, this is Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. I wanted to show you a couple of best practices with evacuation because we've been watching people uh, buy True Blue hoses and how they use them. And uh, there's some things that you could be doing to actually make your system a whole lot better and to really get the most out of the hoses. So what I got hooked up here is just a, a regular uh, JB vacuum pump 7 CFM. I got it hooked up to recovery tank. I actually had these closed off just so we can see the pull down on the hose because I want you to see some interesting characteristics right here. The vacuum gauge is down to about 40, oh, let's say 41 microns here and still dropping. I just started this just a second ago. But let's take a look here on the screen. So what you see right here, this pull down here is viscous flow. So one thing I want you to realize, first of all, this is a logarithmic scale. So it's 760,000 microns. So think about a million segments of graph here, just shy of a million. And 760 down to 20,000, and then 20,000 down to 1,000, and then you know between 1,000 and zero, or now between 10. So the graph is actually not linear. So the, 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 what you're seeing is actually a lot, lot more dramatic than what it shows in the graph here is what I'm getting at. If you look right here, this comes down and it starts to curve here right about, oh, 100 microns or so. I'll pull it up so we can actually see it there. About 136 microns, it's starting to curve off right here. That's nine seconds in, right? Nine seconds in, it's starting to curve off. And you can see we're down at 30, 35.6 microns. So let me go here. I'm just gonna valve off my vacuum pump. And uh, I'm gonna open up these core tools here. And I'm just gonna connect two hoses like we're evacuating the hoses as part of this process. And you can see I lost my vacuum here, so that's it's okay. We'll try and do this quickly so we can see it all on the same graph. So I won't restart the graph. So now we're at high pressure again. And you can see up here at the top. I'm going to pull this down again. So now we're pulling on the true blue hoses over here. And we're pulling on the true blue hoses, but these hoses are in parallel. Goes to a manifold gauge, and then we're also pulling down to the tank and all these valves are open right here, like we're pulling down the manifold set. And what you can see here is quite dramatic because where we pulled down here, all the way down you know, to about 137 microns, if we move this over here now and look at, at uh, where we're at here, this is starting to curve now at 587 microns. So four, 450 microns or so of loss right here, right? Just because we hooked up the hoses in parallel with the uh, with the true blue, and what you're seeing here is actually a result of non-permeable hoses being attached to permeable hoses. So the ones in this gauge manifold here, these are not engineered for vacuum. These are are just standard old um, refrigerant transport hoses, and you can see when you look at that graph again how much we eroded our evacuation. And now we're just pulling on the hoses all alone. Pretty dramatic effect here. So let's see what happens then if we take a uh, regular vacuum hose, we'll tie it in place. So again, we're gonna lose our vacuum here for a minute. Just set these two aside. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this hose off the top. We really won't change it too much with our rig. Pop this guy apart here. And what I'm going to do is just set this aside and I'm going to put a cap on this so that we can uh, really not change the evacuation rig at all. Because I just want you to see what happens by just introducing in a, a different type of hose into the system here. So I'll tighten this up here and that's all there is to it. Now I'm going to tie in this uh, vacuum rated hose here. A lot of you guys are using for vacuum. So now we've got, and I'll go ahead and cap these back off here. So now we've got these two hoses tied in parallel, and we've got one true blue hose, and one competitive hose tied in there. Let's pull this down again. So you can see here, we're gonna get that really fast drop again on there. Except look what's happening here now. We're way down here, we were curving before, now we're curving off a lot earlier here. 
instead of curving off, if we go back to the beginning here, again, instead of get it back up here where we can see it, about 123, 100, 100 and no, I'd say that curve sort of starts right about there at 123 microns at 7 seconds. Now, we're curving here at about 200 and about 200 microns is where we're doing it. So again, substantial amounts of loss. And we'll let this run for just a minute here, but you can see also at our ultimate vacuum over here, we're, we're running about 38 microns on that display. Sorry, I'm jumping all over the place here. About 35 microns pull down. And you can see that that's pulling down pretty good. And now over here, we're at 99 microns. So we're three times deeper just about at the same amount of time here. We'll give this a couple minutes here. In fact, let's take a look here at this point. This was at uh, two minutes and 22 seconds of total pull down time. So we'll go up the top here. And that's at roughly 5, well, 530. So to take that to the same amount of time, we'd have to get that to uh, about eight minutes. So let this go here. We're at seven, seven minutes and six seconds. And um, we'll, let that, uh, we'll let that run for a couple more minutes here. We'll get it up to eight minutes and we'll see where we're at. So you can see right here, just introducing a, a competitive hose in here, how it ultimately erodes the vacuum of the system. And if you want to get the true performance out of true blue hoses, then just use true blue hoses in the equation. Now, it's not that that hose is going to dramatically undermine the effect of it, but here's, here's where it, it falls out. We're losing in there, you know, somewhere between 50 and 100 microns in that, in that evacuation, and that is critical to dehydration, right? We want to get all the moisture out of the system. And if we're tied in with a competitive hose in there, you're just not getting the full advantage of the non-permeable hoses that True Blue is made from. So let's take a look here. We're coming up on the uh, eight minute mark here. And we'll go here, we'll see what our ultimate vacuum is. And we're about 69 microns with the two combined. And again, so we've got, we're twice as deep right now with True Blue hoses versus uh, the two combined together. So if you wanna get the uh, most out of your vacuum hoses, just use True Blue and you'll get really, really good performance. This is Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Thanks a lot for watching.